Hello, I hope you're having a great day. So last night, releasing the ladybugs was fun. Um, they went out of the bag a lot slower because we just cut little holes. Because otherwise we heard that if you open the whole thing at once, you'll just be covered in ladybugs. And we wanted to kind of spread them out throughout the gardens. So that's what we did. And now I see some ladybugs on some of my flowers. At first this morning I was like, I'm not seeing them. Did they already leave? And then I found some. So that's exciting. Those at least are sticking around for now. I hope that they help with some of the insect problems out here and some of my plants get less eaten up without putting anything on my plants to like harm any of the bees or anything like that. Um, Yay, some stuck around along with a beetle. Wish the ladybugs would eat the beetles. Oh look, they're in there. I'm so excited to see them. I didn't see them in the rest of the patch and I was like, oh no, they left. But they're there. So this morning, I do have somebody coming out to pick up a bouquet, so I have to run in and get that made. But first, I just thought I would get as much harvested as I could for a couple hours and then get to it. I'll let you know how the day goes. I'm planning on just weeding and harvesting and making bouquets. It's kind of like the day in the life of the flower farmer for the last few weeks in July. Those are the tasks. I'm gonna do a quick look at the cooler because I got a big order. I added my shelves up there. <laughs> about the air conditioner. Ooh, it's cold in here. Probably because I had the door open earlier. So not quite all the shelves are full, but some have four buckets on them. It's pretty full. We'll see how much damage I do. Okay, so I started to weed and get stuff done, and I think I may do a little bit of weeding over there, but I got a whole bunch of orders in. So I need to get um, an inventory of what I have, <laughs> what's going out, and what I need to make, because, of course, all the orders came in for tomorrow, and tomorrow's the farmer's market day. That's the day that I make 20 bouquets for the farmer's market, and I promised I was bringing five dollar bouquets this week because it's Christmas in July which is like you do a lot of specials and stuff so I thought I would just fill up the little mason jars I have left and make some five dollar bouquets so I actually have about 25 bouquets to make tomorrow and then I added five huge bouquets to that and I have a delivery to a wedding designer so <laughs> and I'm not sure, but the florist told me they might be doing another order this at the end of the week. So I might end up with that. So I might be emptying out my cooler today or tomorrow, I mean. Um, so, and it's like gonna be 91 degrees today. It's really hot, it's really muggy. So I'll probably spend the afternoon inside with the flowers that I've already cut. But I do have a, like about 40 minutes before I'm gonna go to lunch, so I'm gonna go down this row and try to clean up what's in front of the lupine. I did finally get all oh, the crabgrass out of my lavender. There's one cosmos left, but I have been using that for foliage, so I figured I'd come out and cut it and throw it in a bucket. And then I kind of cleaned up around this random stuff. I just threw that in um, this spring. <laughs> and I missed the row because it was too grassy and I couldn't see, so... That should have gone up, but I'll probably dig it out and put it in an empty hole next spring. So I'll just weed it around it for now and hope the crabgrass doesn't come back too strong. Oh, it's looking so much better than it did. And now this disaster of a mess. There's some more cosmos. <laughs> much better. I did leave one little salvia. I think I'll cut the salvia and then pull it out. And then I've got empty holes all the way to the lupine. And it is 11.27, so 27 minutes. It's really easy when there's nothing you want to keep. <laughs> it's when there's stuff like I ran into the lupine 
that's when it's gonna get a little more time consuming to go around each plant. But it shouldn't be too bad. Hopefully I can get this row done and just keep working away on getting my perennials weeded. Maybe it will help me for next year not have so many seeds dropped. We'll see. <laughs> anyway, um, I'm gonna go ahead to lunch and after that I'm gonna get flowers ready. So I'll probably take a lot of pictures and give you some updates. So now that a lot of things gross me out, too bad, but this grosses me out. So you know how we have a Japanese beetle problem here? I think I've talked about it before. Horrible Japanese beetle problem. So Nate found this stuff online for Japanese beetles and it looks so cheap and chintzy. <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh. So we just threw a couple of them up last night. Check this out. So there's just Japanese beetles everywhere, but look at this bag, if I can get a look at it. There are just, ugh, they're like touching me. I'm not a fan of Japanese beetles. It is full of Japanese beetles, and that's it. Only Japanese beetles. And this bag is already this full of them. Ugh. Isn't that just disgusting? I wonder how many bags we will go through. There's so many in there. Look at them all. They're just gross. And then I guess, and then I guess you can just dump the bag into like soapy water, like just instead of like picking them off all over your flowers. So I've got two bags and I have six total that I can hang up around the farm, but they're just flocking to it. They're already like flying back to it now. They say not to put them right in your field because it attracts the beetles to it. Um, but I don't know, like to me, if they, we have them all over the farm. So if it attracts it to the bag and not your flowers, why wouldn't you put them in there? I mean, I get it. I see both sides, but I'm tempted to just, Put them down in my zinnias and my amaranth and see what happens. <laughs> but I'll leave them up here for now and maybe I'll put some along the ditch. They're all over up here right now though and they're just going into the bag. Well, I hope you enjoyed the pictures of the bouquets. Um, tomorrow I have to get, I have to harvest. I have to deliver five bouquets and then an order to a floral designer. And then I have to make all my farmer market bouquets. So I'll take a look at the cooler after that. Right now the cooler looks a lot more empty than it did when I showed you earlier today. But of course tomorrow I will harvest, so I'll fill it back up and then I'll make farmer market bouquets. But I think by the time I get done with the farmer market bouquets, most of the flowers are gonna be what I harvest tomorrow. I went through a lot today. So it was just really busy, so I took pictures. Um, you get the picture. I mean, I stripped and cut and cleaned and put flowers in vases, and I did do one delivery today. So that was my day on the flower farm. It was a busy day. It seems that Thursdays and Fridays are just go, 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 go. And then at the beginning of the week, I get a chance to like weed and do stuff like that. At least that's how it's going right now. 
Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you have a great day.